All right, are you back? All right. Uncle Tooth rowed his boat down the coast. Oro looked through his spyglass, but the fog was so thick he could not see anything. This is spooky, he said. You're not scared, are you? said Uncle Tooth. Of course not, said Otto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soon they heard the tinkling sound of the piano through the fog. <gasps> they rounded a bend and thought that Widow's Mall's pool hall. <gasps> now they're going to play pool with a ghost on the loose. What is this? That's <laughs> Look at that cat. Look at his face. Oh my gosh, he's got one leg. Oh, oh no, that's the tail. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, what do I see on this side? Oh, okay. They have right. Oh my gosh. And it's, I think it's the night also. Uncle Tooth and Otto swung the door open and marched in. The pool hall was filled with men looking sailors. Oh no, mean. No. <laughs> they were men looking like sailors. <laughs> mean looking sailors. Don't laugh at me. Come on, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> some were playing pool, some were drinking beer. Widowmore was at the piano. Tooth! As I live and breathe, she cried. What brings you here? A ghost, <laughs> said Uncle Tooth. Widowmore stopped playing the piano. The pool hall got very quiet. Okay, these are mice. These people have an infestation. Look. Look at their mice, and they're huge. And this one is little. I don't know why he has a hat. And this one got pajamas, and and they're drinking. Yeah, okay. Let's see how this ends. I don't know. Uncle Tooth showed Widow Mole the pirate hat. It's Black Eye's hat, all right, she said. He was a mean pirate. But a good friend. <laughs> I'm sorry he's gone. We're not so sure. Um, he's gone, <laughs> said Uncle Tooth. He might even be here on Dead Man's Landing. He used to hide out here, didn't he? Yes, said Widow Mo in a cave. Why is this like it going dark like dark? <laughs> Do I have the ghost behind me? I don't know. Just let me know. Scream. I don't know where. It was his secret. Thanks, Uncle Tooth. We will have a look around. Look, look at this lady. Oh, my goodness. A mole with, like, what do you call those curls? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Otto and Uncle Tooth walked outside and fell onto the dock. Uh-oh. Black Eyes hat flew out of Otto's hand. <gasps> the ghost grabbed the hat, put it on, and faded into the fog. <gasps> Look at that. You got to see this. Look. Oh, my gosh. There's a ghost right in their faces, and they couldn't grab him. <gasps> What happened? Now, could you grab a ghost? If it's a ghost, and then you go like that, like. <laughs> what happened? Asked Otto. Uncle Tooth pointed to the door. See that rope across the doorway, he said. It is Captain Poop Dicks. Dicks. Poop Dicks. Oh, my gosh. This is very hard word. Clothesline. You were tripped up by a ghost. You wait here for me, Otto. I'm going to catch that ghost once and for all. He took the clothesline and headed for the beach. Otto sat on the dock, but he soon got tired of waiting. I will walk down 
the beach just a little way, he thought. Ooh, I think it started to rain. <gasps> oh, look, this is the clothesline where they trip. And there's a boat. <gasps> what is this? It's like a tree thing. One of those things that grow in the water. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I know it's like, kind of like brown and it grows in the water. After a while, Otto found a plane car stuck to a bush. He moved the bush aside and saw a little cave. <gasps> Maybe he found the ghost. A bat flew out. Ooh, I would have screamed. Having an adventure is scarier than I thought, he said. I lost a dog. <laughs> I only got one. Uh, Otto held out his sword, turned on his lantern, and slowly walked into the cave. What a surprise! In a corner of the cave were a bed and a trunk. Huh. On the bed were playing cards and candy wrappers. On the trunk was Otto's trumpet. <gasps> Suddenly, Otto heard a blood-curling laugh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, look at the bat flying out. <gasps> look at the skull. Oh, look at the little sword. <laughs> and over here, the bed <gasps> with skulls. And that's when they heard the laugh. <sighs> Let's see. He turned around. The ghost was watching him with his big red eyes. Otto was trapped. The eyes came nearer and nearer. Otto grabbed the trumpet and blew it as hard as he could. Blah! <laughs> Blah! When the trumpet, the trumpet was so loud and so surprising that the ghost jumped and ran out of the cave. It was so loud that Uncle Tooth heard it. Oh my gosh. That must have been really loud. I think Maggie is hearing it because she won't stop barking. There it is. He's going. Bah! And there's the ghost. Oh my goodness. Why is she I think uh, she's barking at the cats probably. Outside. He came running down the beach. Otto, are you all right? He shouted. Y yes, Otto said. But the ghost got away. There it is, cried Uncle Tooth. He pointed to the rocks above. Otto looked up. Something black peeked over the top of the rocks. It's black as hat after it, cried Uncle Tooth. They climbed up the rocks. But just as they got near the top of the ghost, stood up and jumped off the cliff. Oh! <gasps> How in the world? He just jumped off the cliff. How oh, they can even catch it? They can't catch it. Oh, there's the ghost and all those rocks. Who is this? Wait a minute. Who is that? Okay. Did you see a face? I saw a face. There it is. Oh! It is. I thought it was like a, a ghost standing up because of the rock. It's hard looking the other way. Okay. It's raining. Oh my gosh. Uncle Tooth and Otto raced to the edge and looked over. In a cove below was a half-sunken old ship. The ghost was running across the deck. Suddenly, there was a loud crack. The rotten wood broke apart. The ghost fell through the deck and splashed right into the water. Something else was splashing nearby in the water nearby. An octopus, cried Otto. Help, screamed the ghost. Don't let it get me. What? Now the ghost is speaking. Look. Oh, my goodness. He fell in this boat. 
And there's the octopus. Why is he green? Uh, Uncle Toad threw the clothesline down. The ghost grabbed it. Then they can't, it can't be a ghost. <laughs> Otto and Uncle Tooth began to pull him up. The pirate's hat fell off and landed on the octopus. Looks like Black Eye's hat has found a new owner, said Uncle Tooth. A very white ghost stood before them. Now take off that silly costume. We know you are Black Eye Doodle, Uncle Tooth said. No, I'm not, said the ghost. He took off his ghost costume. I'm his son, Duckly Duro. I am twice as tough as my pa. Oh, <laughs> it was his son. He's playing tricks on everybody. Look, he got the hat. There he is. Playing tricks on everybody. Ooh. At least it's a relief. It wasn't a ghost. We'll see how tough you are in jail, Uncle Tooth said. Duckley's doodle face fell. Don't send me to jail, he begged. Life in the orphanage was bad enough. I ran away to be a pirate like my pa. Uncle Tooth shook his head. Listen, Doodle, a pirate's life is nothing but trouble. So far you have upset people, you have stolen things, you even lost your father's hat. I'm sorry, said Duckley Doodle. Oh, but I don't know what else to do. Otto and I will show you how to earn an honest living, said Uncle Tooth. Okay, said Duckley Doodle. I'll give it a try. Duckley Doodle did not go to jail. <gasps> Whew. But he did pay for his crimes. First, he returned the clothesline to Captain Poop Deck. Maybe that's because the bird poop on his deck a lot or something. I don't know. He washed the tub of dirty laundry. Next, he told Joe Puffin that he was sorry. Joe Puffin forgave Doodle. But only after Doodle washed the dishes and scrubbed the floor. <laughs> he became Cinderella. Look at him washing clothes. He's got beady eyes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He's gonna have to pay and do a lot of chores. You like doing chores? <laughs> then Otto, Uncle Tooth, and Ducky. Did I say Duckly before? Now it says Ducky. <laughs> I need glasses. No one's. Ducky Doodle went to Auntie Hicks' shop. This is the ghost, Uncle Tooth said. He told Auntie Hicks the whole story. Well, I never, Auntie Hicks said. I will pay you back by working in your shop, said Ducky Doodle. Auntie Hicks thought about that. Well, I sure could use some help, she, she told Otto and Uncle Tooth. I'll see that he behaves himself. And I'll teach him to read and write. I'm sure he didn't learn much in the orphanage. Ducky Doodle groan. Like he didn't want to learn anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now he's going to have to work for free. Sweet shop number six. Auntie Hicks like Otto and Uncle Tooth keep the rest of the stolen candy. <laughs> It's not much of a reward, Otto said, but we have fun. More fun than mending fishing nets, said Uncle Tooth. Maybe we could solve more mysteries and have more adventures, cried Otto. So they did. The end, but it doesn't say the end. These people don't know how to write the end. Otto and Tooth for hire as detective adventurers by the hour, day, or week. I <laughs> make a sign. Look at the sign. Oh, they're so cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. It was funny. So, it's called The Mystery of the Pirate Ghost. I hope you have a good summer. And...
like always be good behave and if you're at camp i hope you have a lot of fun if you're at home i hope you have fun too and if you're on vacation have a more fun <laughs> So as the moral of the story, have fun. It's the summer. Have fun. Bye.